Hello, and welcome to the Lunch in Motion. I am Julie Wilkie Pilmer, Ride Connections Chief Executive Officer. I wish that we were able to gather together to enjoy lunch and celebrate the work that Ride Connection does in our community. I know we will get there again someday. This past year has certainly brought unimaginable challenges, but it has also created an opportunity for adaptability and achievement in the face of the pandemic. Since the pandemic reached Oregon, Ride Connection has continued to provide vital life-sustaining transportation to individuals in need. We quickly and efficiently adapted to COVID-19 safety requirements and modified services continually throughout the year to safely serve our customers, providing free, safe, and reliable rides to medical appointments, access to healthy foods, work, and so much more. When ride requests decreased due to the closing of many locations, Ride Connection was able to partner with local groups to shift this capacity to deliver food boxes to customers who could not leave their homes. I'm pleased to share that over 7,200 food box deliveries have been made since the pandemic began. When wildfires ravaged our state, Ride Connection was able to organize rides to safety for evacuees with our drivers and the service center collaborating across multiple agencies. When vaccines became available, we were able to quickly shift our focus once again to get people to their vaccination appointments. To date, we have provided uh, approximately 900 rides to vac vaccination sites. Last spring, Ride Connection took over the network management services for the region's non-emergent medical transportation program, which provides transportation to individuals on the Oregon Health Plan. Ride Connection was selected to lead network management of, program, of the program because of our expertise and experience in partnership collaboration, contract compliance, financial health, and quality assurance. Since taking over management of this service in February, we have made considerable improvements to the program and ensured the program remains strong throughout the pandemic. Our staff and volunteers have persevered, been flexible, nimble, adaptable, and have worked together to support continued exemplary work in carrying out our mission. I'm so proud of all Ride Connection does to serve our customers, and this year even more so. In addition to the essential services we provide to the region, Ride Connection is dedicated to supporting diversity, equity, inclusion, and accessibility within our staff, volunteers, board of directors, and the individuals we serve. We recognize the history of oppression, which has resulted in ongoing disparities based upon race, gender, perceived abilities, religion, culture, economic status, age, and more. We work to gain knowledge and to address these disparities by creating a culture of inclusion, respect, and authenticity. Our dedication and work in this area is ongoing and includes educational opportunities for staff and board members, continual enhancement of Ride Connections work and protocols within our community, and developing new partnerships to increase services throughout the region. Partnerships are the core of Ride Connections mission and enhance coordinated services throughout the region. We value our partnerships and are thrilled to have one of our longtime partners with us today. I'm happy to introduce Sam DeSue Jr., TriMet's Interim General Manager and current Chief Operating Officer to share a few words. Hello, I am Sam DeSue Jr., the Interim General Manager and Chief Operating Officer at TriMet the region's largest public transportation provider. It is an honor to be part of this virtual event, represent TriMet. I wish we could all be celebrating in person the important service Ride Connection provides. But for now, we'll all stay safe and still come together virtually for an important cause. I hope you will join TriMet in supporting Ride Connection, applauding the organization and the many, many volunteers that makes it successful. In my more than two years with TriMet, I've been extremely impressed by the work of the Ride Connections team, the value that Ride Connection provides to our community and TriMet. The additional mobility and community connections that Ride Connections provides gives people accessibility and independence. As a TriMet provider, we at TriMet know the challenges senior adults and people with disabilities can face when assessing transportation. 
and the need for more transit and mobility in the areas of our region is ever present. Rod Connection services help benefiting those with limited options, including some of the most vulnerable in our community. The partnership between TriMet and Rod Connections is an important one. We have been partners for nearly 33 years, whether it is one-on-one -on -one travel training so more people can use TriMet buses and trains, community connector shuttle service in underserved areas, or door-to-door -door trips for those with mobility issues, Ride Connections vital services work to complete the whole transit picture. Together, TriMet and Ride Connections offer inclusive transit services that are not seen in other cities, offering a unique regional transportation framework. It is no wonder that Ride Connections is one of the largest nonprofit providers of accessible transportation in the country. Ride Connections' significant collaboration with other nonprofit organizations supports and encourages use and engagement of transit as a whole. We are on this journey together to meet the needs of our community. Access to transit is access to opportunity. We share the desire to connect the underserved individuals to economic opportunities. Through long-standing partnership, we have recognized the economic savings Ride Connection provides our agency alleviating stress on our Lyft paratransit service. More importantly to me, this partnership makes for a healthy community and provides greater opportunity for all. Our vision is to do our part to make our community the best place to live in the country and because of Ride Connection, we are closer to that vision every day. Thank you for what you do for our community and for the opportunity to recognize all of the good Ride Connection staff and volunteers do for our region. TriMet is grateful to have such an exemplary partner as Ride Connection. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. I'm so grateful for our continuing partnership with TriMet, and we are truly honored to have you join us today. Last year, we weren't able to share one of the highlights of all of our events. Filming a customer story was not possible due to the pandemic, but this year, with the help of vaccines and some socially distanced camera work, we are pleased to share with you Donna's story. I love the Ride Connection because it gives me freedom. I go to the store now and I go see my friends now. You know, I'm not stuck at home all the time because usually I'm just in my bedroom doing nothing. And with the Ride Connection, I get to get out and do things and um, see the world. I have to go to dialysis three times a week. And if I didn't have this, there would be times I wouldn't get to go to dialysis. And so that makes me feel so much better because without the dialysis, I'm not here. My favorite thing with driving with my driver, Mark, is because he communicates with me, talks with me, you know, about whatever we want to talk about. And it makes me feel very good, very safe, and, and I love him. Some people you meet, you just connect with them and I almost feel like I'm not getting paid. Like I, I don't need to get paid for this because it's not really a job. I'm just having a good day driving people that I know and like around and to places that they need to go. So people like Donna really make it worthwhile. She is a little special because I got to know her over the over the year. I know about her little the little guy that she loves so much that's a genius. I know about a lot of things about her life and uh, I tell her about mine and so we kind of have this we kind of have this connection where uh, I pick her up and she knows and we kind of say hi and we're friends. Every time I have Mark, I love it because he talks with me, you know, we communicate. And a lot of times I ask for Mark. <laughs> uh, I know how expensive it is for these folks to do other things besides Ride Connection. I know that they don't get the same experience because they either have to wait for multiple people to get left off before they actually get to their ride. There's so many different ways that Ride Connection creates an advantage. With the pandemic, it's really hard to do anything or go anywhere. Without Ride Connection, I wouldn't have this opportunity to be able to get where I need to go when I need to go. 
I think it would be very nice for people to donate to Ride Connection for the people that can't afford to ride and they'll still get where they need to go, especially the doctors and even to the hospital. I'm actually grateful for Ride Connection because it gave me uh, the ability to, to do exactly what I wanted to do, which was help people, uh, be there for people, and get to know people in my community. And that was important. So I'm, I'm grateful in that regard that it's an opportunity to, to exercise a little bit of good. When I talk to my friends, I tell my friends about the Ride Connection and how wonderful it is and it gives you freedom. Let you get out and do the things you used to do. And they'll love it. Please support Ride Connection with a gift today. You don't know how much it'll mean to so many people. Thank you. Thank you so much, Donna and Mark, for sharing your experience with us. I am thrilled to let you know that the Mabel Clark McDonald Fund will once again be matching all gifts made through this event at the $5,000, $2,500, $1,000, $500 levels. This matching grant allows donors able to give at that level to double their impact, making an even bigger difference in our ability to serve our customers. A gift of any amount truly does make a difference. Please consider making a 100% tax deductible donation in support of our mission. Simply visit our website at rideconnection.org slash LIM, or you can give directly through the link in your invitation email or through the Facebook event. Now I have the privilege of introducing a special message from our guest, Tamika Butler. Tamika is a national expert and speaker on issues related to the built environment, equity, anti-racism, diversity and inclusion, organizational behavior and change man management. As the principal and founder of Tamika L. Butler Consulting, she focuses on shining a light on inequality, inequity and social justice. She provides consulting, training, coaching, and public speaking for a wide range of organizations in the public and private sectors. Tamika has a diverse background in law, community organizing, and nonprofit leadership. Tamika received her law degree from Stanford Law School and received her BA in psychology and BS in sociology at Crichton University in her hometown of Omaha, Nebraska. She lives in Los Angeles with her wife and children. Please join me in welcoming Tamika Butler. Hi, Julie. Thank you so much for that kind introduction. As you just heard, my name is Tamika Butler and I run my own consulting company, Tamika L. Butler Consulting. Before that, I ran nonprofits and before that, I was a civil rights lawyer. Being a civil rights lawyer is actually what brought me to transportation. My first job fresh out of law school was opening up a one-stop workers' rights clinic for anyone who needed employment help in Bayview Hunters Point. For those who don't know the San Francisco Bay Area well, Bayview Hunters Point is where 49ers Stadium used to be, Candlestick Park. The neighborhood was predominantly low income and black and people were upset about this new Muni line. They wanted to know why no one had planned with them if it was really just a line to get tourists in, but not really connect them to the things they needed, jobs, healthcare, education, because like many cities in San Francisco, the low income populations of color have become geographically isolated from the core of the city. And when I had that job as a civil rights lawyer fresh out of Stanford Law School, that's when I realized that transportation is the prism through which we should see all of our social justice issues. The reality is, if groups and people don't have access to transportation, not only can they not survive, but they can't thrive. And we should really be trying to thrive, not just survive. And that's why Ride Connections work is so important. By providing rides, they know that they are connecting people to the resources, to the places, and to the other people that they need and want to be around. 
we've just spent the last several months feeling that isolation. And let me tell you, for people with disabilities, for older adults, and for folks of color, for me as a Black person, that inability to feel mobile and move is even stronger. When you don't know where your next ride is going to come from, or you don't know if your next ride is going to end in death, because people see the color of your skin as a weapon, you start to realize the importance of mobility. You start to realize the importance of access to transportation. I do this work. I left being a lawyer because I didn't like it, but also because I love transportation. I love it so much. I'm going to get a PhD in transportation starting in the fall at UCLA. I really love it, but I love it because I know that it's about connecting people. And without access to transportation, we won't have connection. And without connection, we won't be able to thrive. So if you take nothing else away from this virtual experience, remember the one thing I said, that transportation is the prism through which we should see all of our other social justice issues. We can't feel connected to people. We can't feel connected to education, our food, or vaccines. We can't feel connected if we don't have access to get to the places we want to go. And we can't get there full of life and full of dignity if there's not someone when we need them the most, if we can't do it ourselves to provide a ride. Thank you so much for having me, even just for this brief window, to share with you why access to transportation for all groups is critical. I hope you enjoy the rest of your day. I hope you continue to support Ride Connection and all they do to help so many people thrive. Thank you. Thank you, Tamika. We are so thankful that you were able to join us and share your message with our supporters. Before we go, I would also like to take a moment to thank our incredible sponsors, Enterprise Rental Car Sales, Regents Blue Cross Blue Shield of Oregon, TriMet, Care Oregon, Columbia Bank, Pacific West Bank, Providence Health and Services, Buck Alter, Heffernan Insurance Brokers, Kaiser Permanente, On Point Community Credit Union, Shetke Northwest Bus and Van Sales. The proceeds raised through this event will provide free, accessible, reliable transportation options to individuals in Clackamas, Multnomah, and Washington counties. In short, it will help us continue to get people like Donna where they need to go. I hope that this finds you all well and that you will consider contributing to Ride Connection at rideconnection.org slash L-I-M. Thank you once again to Sam DeSue Jr. and Tamika Butler for speaking today. And thank you for joining us and for your support of our mission and the customers we serve. I look forward to the day we can gather in person again soon. Thank you.